ultimately, when this is all said and done, come November 2nd, I'm seeking to earn the endorsement from Senator Dick Cohen. I have respect for him. He has served the state of Minnesota for the last 34 years now. He's done a wonderful job allocating taxpayer money to develop Minneapolis arts and the Guthrie. And uh, one day while I was door knocking in St. Paul, I ran across, ran into one of his uh, colleagues and he was telling me this story about him when he was uh, first starting his political career back in the early 70s. He said that Dick was was very serious. He said he would come home, you know, his tie would be tied perfectly. Everything would be pressed perfectly. He would sit in his uh, lazy boy recliner, you know, eating dinner, uh, watching TV. But he said he would never loosen up until, you know, it was time for bed. And, you know, I thought about that story when I got home and it actually increased my uh, my respect for him because this is a serious position. Um, moving forward, though, I'm asking the senator to pass the torch. It's time for change. Thirty four years is enough. We need a whole new generation of leaders coming through that are going to bring forth new ideas, solutions, because a lot of people in St. Paul are suffering out there. I just got through the first 10,000 doorsteps. I met multiple people that were unemployed. I met young adults that are still uh, living with their parents. I met elderly people who are uh, lo in, the, in the face of losing their homes because of skyrocketing property taxes and they're on a fixed income. And uh, issue number one, moving into this next legislative session is going to be the budget, balancing the budget. There is no easy way to do it. Hard decisions are gonna be made. And uh, quite frankly, I believe that uh, Dick Cohen is too entrenched to make the decisions that are necessary to restore the balanced budget, to restore the Minnesota economy so that ultimately, uh, you know, we can lower taxes and encourage small business growth and entrepreneurial activity. Because like I said, the old ways, they're not working anymore. We need new people, we need new ideas, and, and we need leaders because some tough decisions are need to be made. And uh, I'm well prepared to do so. This is not a time to expand government and spend more. This is a time to act with restraint, to balance the budget as statutory law requires, and to ultimately provide relief for our families and for our schools and for our small business owners right here in Minnesota. Because in Minnesota, uh, nearly 70% of all people employed are employed by a small business. That's the number one employer in Minnesota. I understand this. I'm ready for the job. Thank you for your attention. My name is Tony Hernandez, and I approve this message. You don't need no trouble. No, 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 no. What?